Life is definitely what you see is what you get. But have you thought about what you see? Yeah, it's been super hard trying to make this work with my husband. And I don't understand why he does the things that he does. Like, I do my best. I even cook pies, for God's sakes. I mean, I don't know how much more I can take of this. I've been with my husband for 16 years now. We got married young. He does work a lot of hours and, you know, most of the time I'm home and I just take care of things for him. But it's so frustrating because sometimes I feel like the smallest thing will happen with him at work and he takes it out on me and sometimes it's even violent. Mm -hmm. Like I'm hoping that, you know, he'll understand that that's not right, but I don't want to leave him. Biblically it says like I shouldn't leave him unless there's something else besides that happening. So trying to work through that. But I mean, I know some sometimes people like have it worse, but this is like a huge thing. And I don't understand why I have to keep going and dealing with this. Mm. Like it's so frustrating for me. <laughs> The moment when you help the hurting bring hope to their crisis. But the truth is, you're losing control of your own life and abilities. And what matters is, it comes to this, a mental mess. and broken. You have to face the roots causing your narcissism, bringing more to you and those you are helping. I don't need this. You have inflated the sense of importance on no one else. I don't need you. You will never be able to fully help anyone until you help yourself. I am perfectly fine. Please get me out of here. No, no. you can never come out never until come you, out accept. you accept. No. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Please, please, get me out, get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Ooh, ooh, okay. Heaven's sakes. 
<sighs> focus, girl. Focus. Mm. Okay. You got this. You got this. Home girl. Play my feel good music. She said she'd be here waiting on us. I'm not sure, but we're gonna be late again. You know, I find it hard to believe that we survived our first year of marriage. Ah, yes. And don't overlook our new child together. <laughs> oh my God, I am so excited. <laughs> ah. Bernadette, please don't bring up the past. God is working on our marriage. Yeah, I know. I know. Ugh. So it is possible this day can be ruined. Excuse me. Yes? How can we not help you? I'm so sorry to interrupt. Can you please spare some money so I can get a ride to my sister's house? Girl, what? Bernadette. What is it? My husband is abusive to me and I ran away while he was in the shower. I need help. Please. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Go. I'm sorry. Yes, we can help you. How much can we help you with? None. We are not giving her anything. She's probably trying to get the money for something else. Just look at her. Yeah, Bernadette. It does appear that she doesn't belong on the street. Please help me. I don't belong in this type of situation. I'm a doctor and I can pay you back. I just don't have any money on me at the present moment. <laughs> Please, help me. You're a doctor? <laughs> yeah, right. You look like a liar to me. And Tim, how do you know where she belongs? Bernadette, stop it. Don't be so ugly. It would do you some good to show some kindness for a change. Stop what? Seriously, do you know her? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cause any problems. Well, you just did. Ma'am, please excuse my wife. As you can see, her feelings is everywhere. Here you go. I hope this can help. Yes. God bless you. Thank you. Let's go. I can't be a part of this nonsense. How could you say those things? I was raised to treat everyone the same, no matter where they come from. Yeah, go on and play that nice role, okay? But not me. I raised myself. So if I didn't have a golden life, why should I allow others to have one? Okay, I made it, and she can too. Now, let's go. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, God. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Go on. We're not giving you anything else. You already started an argument. Be nice. Where is Tim going? We're going to be even later for the session. Yeah, thanks to you. I had to deal with this. <sighs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. Traffic was horrible, though. Mrs. Price? Is that you? 
I'm sorry, you had the wrong person. Girl, come on. Tim will meet us in the car. Uh -uh. What you say to him anyway? He was all mad, walking. Girl, that man gave that woman my fifty dollars. Can we live right here in this moment? Girl, I've seen her somewhere before. Mm. She's the mayor's wife. Mm. And she's a doctor or something like that. Hell no. Mm -mm. She says you had the wrong person. Mm. But you know what? She was lying to me before you walked up. Mm -mm. I think she hiding something. Probably is. Half a took my 50 bucks. I need you to be that. Get out my way. Okay, now who would like to begin? Chardonnay. I'm Chardonnay Jones. Hold on, this lighting is good. Oh yeah, that's the one. Okay, I'm here because they say I'm addicted to prescription drugs, but the truth is my medication keeps me calm, especially when I've been drinking, I've been drinking shots on rocks, baby. Right, thank you, Chardonnay. Also, you can put away your phone. God is the answer and your solution. Who's next? My name is Evelyn Pearson, and I'm a victim of domestic abuse and violence from my husband. So you mean your husband beats you? Right, she was trying to butter it up. Look, homegirl, you get your butt in your... Okay, okay, let's stay focused. Now, we have to follow through with the first step of overcoming your broken pieces, which are shattered all over the place. We need to move forward to mend. So my first question for everyone is, how have you been handling your situations? Not good. See, when people... Kanye West me, I turn around and Chris Brown their butts. Then Solange kick their leg. Then I do Jasmine Sullivan. Bust them windows out their cars. That's interesting. Would anyone else like to share how they're handling their issues? Well, I handle my problems just like Chardonnay, only the Jesus way. Okay, and so I wonder, what do you do? Do you uh, bus windows out of cars? Do you um, give people black eyes and kick their legs? Because that's not Jesus's way. <laughs> no, I don't do any of that. But I do find that the best way to protect myself is by building a wall. That way no one else can get in and hurt me. Well, I want you to know that time heals all wounds. Uh, uh-huh. Miss Counselor, time may heal, but did you know that vodka is way quicker? <laughs> Look, I don't care what you have to say. I'm here to keep my family quiet. One thing's for sure, my great auntie told me, there will always be lie in believe, over in lover, and N in friends. Now rap about that. You know, I was told the same thing by my auntie. Oh, I'm Bernadette Ellis. Apparently, my husband thinks that I have anger issues. Shut your mouth. We sisters. You're my inheritance. <laughs> my question that I have for you, Miss Renee, is you see that we all have problems. And I believe that it's a waste of all of our time and yours if all of this talking really isn't helping anyone. Explain, Bernadette. Well, I don't understand where the help is for the young people who want to change in their lives but don't have the education to fulfill the dream that they want. Or the young lady or man that's being abused at home despite them pouring their hearts out for help. Or the mother that has to suffer from the grief of her son being killed by the law who's supposed to protect them. Or what about the mother who fears having a child because of the family curse they may carry on to that child? Or what about the men who can't show their women love because they watched their mother be abused all their childhood and now they're traumatized? Better yet, 
they stay in the street for love because that's all they know. I was wondering if you can help me out with that, counselor, because I'm quite sure I'm not the only one that's experienced these things, this that's broken. So tell me, help me, because I don't know how much more of this I could take. God. Mm. Wow, I am almost speechless. First, take a deep breath, breathe. I could feel your pain while you were talking, but I do want you to know that every bend in the road is not the end, unless you fail to make that turn. You must learn to accept and be who you are. Your situations do not define who you are. Chardonnay, you are not a drug addict and an alcoholic. Wait, counselor, I... Hold on, hold on, hear me out, hear me out. Evelyn, you might have been abused, but your abuse does not define who you are. Bernadette, you are a good person, okay? But you cannot allow every person to, who has insulted, abused, or belittled you to affect your behavior because of the void of not knowing your mother. You must remember, you need to let go of all of these toxic chains. I have a very bad, complicated problem. At one point in my life, I was afraid of losing my mind, so I hid it and put it away, and now the problem is I can't figure out where I put it. One thing to keep in mind is that the past is the past, okay? Can't change the past. What's done is done. So it's important to keep in mind to keep looking forward, okay, moving forward. Because if you keep looking in the rearview mirror of your life, you might miss something wonderful that's ahead of you. That makes sense. Evelyn, Evelyn, where you at? No. Get over here, let's go. No. This place is gonna make you crazy. They're all crazy. Come on here. If you're gonna come with me, Evelyn, you're gonna be dreaded. No, Corey, I'm not going anywhere with you right now. Who is he calling crazy? Right? And I know that's not who you're running from, the police. If you don't give it, Evelyn, you are my wife, and by law, we belong together. Hold up, sir. Hold it right there. I will not allow you to harm my client anymore. I am asking you to leave now. Well, well. Look who's speaking up for our sick little puppies. Trust me, you don't wanna get on my bad side. You know what they say, you mess with fire, you just might get burned. Stop it right there or I will call the police. I am asking you to leave I am now. the police. Go ahead and call me. Huh, looks like we're stuck in a hard place. If you don't call me Evelyn, you are gonna regret it. Hey, it's cool. Back up before you lose your job. Let's go. Look, I know people in higher places. And I know a god in a higher place too. Go. Oh, so you big and bad now. So you have backup? Okay, I see where it's going. Look, Evelyn, you gotta come home and get your stuff. What you gonna do, bring God with you then? Corey, you can just have it. Go. You gonna pay for coming between me and my wife. And you, Evelyn, we will meet again, brief her. Trust me.
things at school. Ah, things are good, Mom. How was work today? Oh, same old, same old. Wait a minute. You're home so soon. Aren't finals this week? Well, what's your progress with your city board presentation? Um, well, <laughs> I bought another textbook. Vanessa, I am so excited about you graduating with your master's in psychology. Next is off to seminary to start your divinity studies. And then after that... Oh, God, Mom, please, stop it. I'm so sick of you nagging to me about school in my life. How about asking me how my day was, hmm? My best friend was gunned down by a police officer on campus one year ago, the same day that your son, my brother, died. All the kids at my school are scared to mention BLM, walk across the street, go to the grocery store, get pulled over, heck, live being black. But sis, this is what I get every single time I see you. Yes, mom, I am battling a lot, but you don't even ask. That is why I hate coming home. No, sweetie. Yes. I don't want to hear you telling me about what you want me to do. You are obsessed with me doing what you want. Honestly, I can't even wait till I finish this psychology degree because you need some therapy. Honey, you're looking at it all wrong. Yes, I know about the young man. And of course, his mother is seeking my services. I know this is tough. But Vanessa, you must understand, all I want is what's best for you. Someone in this family has to break the family curse of failure. So now you go get ready, okay? Because we're gonna take the pictures to the city board. And then on the Mom. way, we're gonna stop by the bookstore to Mom. get another textbook, okay? Because I want you to be Mom. ready to enroll. Mom, please, stop with this control in my life. I'm pregnant, Mom. I'm freaking pregnant. What did you just say, Vanessa Renee Fuller? I'm pregnant. I'm 16 weeks. Guess your so-called perfect little dream child is having a baby. A damn lie! You ignorant child! After all I've done for you, this is how you repay me, humiliating me with this bill. How could you do such an uneducated and foolish thing? You know what? That's OK. That's OK. You know what, I'm gonna call my friend, and Vanessa, you will have an abortion tomorrow, young lady. No, I am not having an abortion. I am keeping this child, and you are not gonna ruin this for me. Ruin? Yes, ruin. God, you can't keep taking away everything that I love. I'm not having an abortion, I don't care what you say. Yes, you are. You are acting like a disgrace and like trash. Vanessa, you have a future and you need to act like it. Now, we will not discuss this any further. In the morning, I'm taking you to the clinic. You will get rid of it. No exceptions. You are so evil. You have no empathy for anyone but yourself. I am done letting you harm me. You, Mom, you are the reason I feel so broken. I'm going to have this child. And I'm going to show my baby all the love that I never received from you. Since Roger's death, you have become more angry towards me, condescending, contemptuous. His death is not my fault. <laughs> I hit dog will holler. If we weren't at the mall with you getting that stupid purse, Roger would still be here. Seriously? Seriously. Uh, you ungrateful little. Say it. Go ahead and say it. See, you never realize that the words you say and the things you do are so hurtful. If you call yourself a counselor, mother, you have isolated me from the entire world my whole life. I was bullied all throughout high school. I never had any friends because you never let me go anywhere. I remember that one birthday party I had where one person showed up, one. And that's because of you. You ran away any boy that ever tried to like you. Well, thank God for that, or this would have happened earlier. You made me go to a college that I hate for a degree that I don't even want. Mama, I'm sick of you. I want you out of my life. Vanessa, go ahead, destroy your life and your career. Get pregnant.
pregnant, drop out of school, get in the welfare well. This is not what I planned for you. All the sacrifices and dealing with other people's problems and helping them when they were grieving, and I was grieving myself, showing them how to overcome addiction. And I suffered many long hours putting you through school. Vanessa, you're heading down a road that you are not ready to face. Is this what you want? No, Mom. That's not what I want. But I'd rather take that risk than standing here with your verbal abuse and you controlling me. I hate you. Vanessa! Vanessa! Just having a little disagreement. Come on in. Come on in. Okay. And why are you dressed like that? Are you okay? Please don't question my passion. Oh, girl. Come on in and have a seat. Oh. Okay, Renee. That was a little there. Well. I escaped from Brad. You were right. I am so done with him. But Renee, please, tell me what's going on. Vanessa is pregnant and proud of it. She done lost half her mind. And she's doing all of this to humiliate me. Oh, come on, Renee. You think Vanessa got pregnant to make you look bad? Yes. Renee, tell me the truth. Did you ask Vanessa what happened? <laughs> We know how it happened. True. Or did you blow up on her like you usually do? What? So, so you're blaming me. <laughs> if you're going to take her side, Hillary, you can leave. Seriously? Seriously. I'm not going anywhere. You are my sister. Besides, I saw this coming a mile away. I didn't know when it was going to happen. But Renee... You act more like her drug sergeant than you do her mother. You need to reevaluate how you treat Vanessa. It might do you some good to look at it from her point of view. If you think about it, if I knew what I knew now, I would still have my child. What do you mean? What I mean, Renee. As you were so caught up in counseling others and helping others fix their situations, you forgot all about your problems. You need to stop controlling Vanessa's life and let her be an adult. Be her mom, not her counselor. How can the broken help the broken? I'm sure things will work out just fine if you just release your pain of the past. So love can enter into your heart. You need to let go of the past. So love can restore your broken pieces. That's what's best for you and Vanessa. Girl, Hillary, you're right. You're right. But who told you you can cancel me in my house? Smelling like a garbage can. Girl, you smell awful. <laughs> that is rude. But I'm glad you noticed. Can I use your shower? I need to refresh and think. I can smell myself. Can't predict what people do. But I'm still holding on to you. I'm still holding on. You have to come now. We need your help at CP Hospital. They say that it's the lady here who may be one of your patients. She has you as her emergency contact. It's never the stuff in our mind. I could walk into the night. Coming out the other side of the bed. Hey, 
It's bad. Charnay's friend found a lady in the alley. Oh no, so it's not Evelyn? No, they said her name is Vanessa. Is she a patient of yours? Oh no, not Vanessa. That's my daughter. Could you take me to her? Yeah, yeah, sure. Vanessa, Vanessa, no. Oh, God, Vanessa. Get up, get up. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You don't have to go to school. You don't have to do anything else. Just come back to me, please, Vanessa. Oh, God. Lord, have mercy, have mercy. No. No, the baby, the baby. Nurse, nurse, the baby. Parker. Yes, Renee Fuller? Yes, I'm Renee. This is my daughter, Vanessa, and she's pregnant. How's the baby? I'm sorry, Miss Fuller. I have some disturbing news about the baby. Oh, God, oh, God, what is it? When your daughter was attacked, she lost the baby. <laughs> and due to multiple lacerations to her abdomen, extreme internal bleeding, it is highly likely she may never conceive again. Oh, no, 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 no. If you need heel, anything, heel. I'll be outside. Heel, heel, I messed up, I messed up. That's my baby. My baby, I'm It's God. okay. No. It's okay, Renee. No. It's okay. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is just a wake-up call to get things right. I know it hurts. But when she gets through this, and I know she will, now is the time to get it right. Get the help you both need. You're right, Hill. You're right. I'm going to do whatever it takes to fix this. I won't make it without Vanessa. Renee. Renee. She is going to get through this. Remember Psalms 27.1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Does anyone know who did this? I was told it was Evelyn's husband that attacked Vanessa. Wow, wow. Is he in custody? Hey, you know, as a matter of fact, they do. And they're going to need you for the police lineup. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't I see you earlier today begging for money? <clears throat> yes. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just keep in mind of how you treat people. You didn't know I was the chief of staff at this hospital when you first saw me. But things are fine now. When you know better, you do better. I get that. But it's hard to do right when you don't have somebody to raise you right. My adopted aunt raised me, and she told me that my mother got rid of me when I was born. And I've been hurt by that ever since she told me that. I'm so sorry to hear that. What was your adopted aunt's name? Lucille Miller. She's from Dallas, Texas. I hope I'm not being too nosy. May I ask, when you were born, did you get adopted through Life Tree Agency, December 20th, 1989? Yeah, that's the dates on my papers. Wait a minute. Do you have a birthmark on the left side of your back? Do you know my parents or something? Yes, I do. I am your mother. And you are my child. <laughs> no way. Your birth name was Bernadette Hillary. You are my child. I have you in my arms now and I'm never letting go. I promise. God has answered my prayers and gave me a second chance. Why? Why, why did you do it? Give me away. Your father raped me. And I couldn't live with seeing you every time. Wow. I'm sorry. I am so sorry we had to face that. Yeah.
What's going on? And why is my head hurting? Vanessa, sweetie, you're awake. I am so sorry, baby, for everything. Hey, baby girl. Glad to have you back. <laughs> I'm glad to be back. I get it, Lord, I get it. Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. From every shore, on the Well, the truth of the matter is, we all are a mental mess. We need healing each day. And God can take what has been broken from us. We have to be willing to be transformed into something greater which he can use for his glory. We must be broken before we realize our needs. And our sincerest need is to be reconciled to God. on the